It's not bubbling. Just got a new bulb for my lava lamp after like months. I was kind of hoping to be bubbling for the video, but it's, it's just a mass, just a lump right now. It's taking forever to heat up. Next time, next time. Anyways, what's up? Welcome to Beer in a Chat. If you haven't been here before, I drink a beer, we chat. If you have been here before, thank you for coming back. You guys are awesome. I appreciate your faces. But of course, we can't have beer in a chat without our beer. So, let it begin. Ooh. Hoo hoo hoo. So, this is, I should just like showcase every beer I drink every time. This is the Earl Pale Ale. It's from Kelowna, BC, over on the west coast of Canada. Mm. Several notes of, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna be a connoisseur, no. I'm just gonna drink and, and talk. Ah. A friend of mine got me some of this for Christmas. If you have a friend who gets you beer for gifts, keep that friend, it's a good friend. Certainly a win having a friend who gets you beer like that, just as gifts. But what, okay, win. I've gotta talk to you guys about a win. I had a win recently, just the other day. Okay, it's not really a win. It's kind of hard to describe. Okay, hmm. I gotta start at like the very beginning, describe this whole situation for you guys to really understand. So there's this website called collective.lacy.com or something like that, anyways, and it's a film website. I don't really know how to describe it. <laughs> People create portfolios and they upload films and they show their, show their work. And it's for like short films, documentaries, and all that sort of stuff. And they host contests very, very frequently. And I entered a contest. Um, now the contest was a micro documentary showcasing um, a topic of someone conquering something. It could be anything from like public speaking to coming out with your sexuality. The idea was this kind of like everyday sort of stuff, uh, just everyday people. But the documentary had to be under three minutes. So I chose someone that I actually went to high school with. Her name is Brittany, and she was diagnosed with a certain gene. I am diagnosed? Can you get diagnosed with a gene? Anyway, she has this certain gene called the BRCA2 gene, where she is, it's approximately a 50% chance of her getting breast cancer and another 50% chance of her getting ovarian cancer. So, I did a micro documentary on her getting a double mastectomy at the age of 30. That's gotta suck. So the story, I did the documentary, it is an amazing story. I got really good uh, dialogue from her, I got really good conversations with her, and I managed to actually squeeze this whole story within three minutes, which was super hard. Try squeezing in a topic like that of talking about how you have a gene that you're almost guaranteed to get cancer, and then talking about overcoming this and deciding to get the surgery, or blah, 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 blah. Anyways, it was hard to get this under three minutes, like super, super hard. I managed to, got the documentary done, submitted it, then I wait. I wait for uh, the deadline. After the deadline hits, there was like a three week waiting period to announce the winners. Deadline hit, and I believe there was like 120-ish submissions. So among, amongst 120 films, I, I could possibly win, and the winnings were pretty awesome. Like you win a DJI Ronin, laptop, all this sort of like cool tech for filming videos and documentaries and I didn't have my hopes up. I really didn't have my hopes up because well, there's some really good videos out there. I just started making films. I'm just getting into this filmmaking process, which I love, but OMG, it's overwhelming. So the day finally comes where uh, they announce winners. Check my phone. I look at the website, boom, boom, boom. First place, second place, third place. I am amongst none of them. I did not place at all. A little disappointed. To be honest, I mean, I really thought I had a really good story, but I wasn't too impressed with my my uh, visuals in it. It, it. it was a good documentary. It was a good, solid documentary, I thought. But it wasn't anything fantac fantaculous, fantabulous, fantastic. So, a little bit disappointed that I didn't win, because of course I wanted to win, but I kind of, I knew that was going to be the case. So I contact the website, though, and ask if I could get some feedback from the judge who actually critiqued my work and they got back to me and I should read you exactly what they said where I gotta grab my phone. I gotta give me a second. Okay, so this is what they said after I contacted them. Hey Ben, thanks so much for entering. Looking at Kevin's scores, you made the very final shortlist, so congrats. Areas of strength were in editing and post with a good overall entertainment value and story. The improvement note is in cinematography and trying a little more innovative, trying to be a little more innovative in the way you approach shots and more directly how shot setups can help add to the narrative. Really hope this information is useful. This scores in the top 10%. So 
months, you're definitely doing something right. I was in the top 10%. I was in the final stage of critique, which means I was considered top tier. I was considered to place within this contest. And not only that, the person who judged Kevin, um, let me see here. So Kevin Clauber, Clauber, Claber, K-L-A-U-B-E-R, that's his last name. Anyways, he is an Oscar winning documentary editor. And he was going through these, selecting, and he liked mine enough that it was in consideration. Did not place, did not win. I did not win by any means. But I was in consideration to win in an Oscar winning dude's mind. I may not have placed, I may not have won, but that, in my mind, is a win. Total win. Because what is considered a win? Is it first place? Is it showing people up or proving them wrong? Or is it recognition? 100% in this case, it was the recognition. The recognition that someone looked at this and said, you did a pretty decent job. You did enough to say you're in the top 10% of these videos. And for just coming out of the gate, starting with filmmaking and everything, that felt pretty damn good. Like, super damn good. Like, mm, so good. So I've been kind of riding that high for the last few days. And I'm, I'm still a little bit in shock that I was held at the praise I was, I guess. I mean, he wasn't praising me like, he wasn't being like, oh my God, this dude is so good. But he was like, hey, this, this dude's good. That's me. That, I'm that dude. I'm good. Sweet. It feels really, really good to have that recognition. And it's a, it's a big confidence booster. I'm pumped. Super pumped. Anyways, if you guys want to check out the documentary that I made, um, Brittany's video is down below. I'll link it down there so you guys go, can go check it out. I'd appreciate the view. I'd appreciate you guys going down there and telling me what you thought of it. Love to hear feedback. Always open for it, no matter what. So, guys, thank you for joining me with Beer in a Chat, and I hope you guys can find yourself a win tomorrow, today, next day, be it first place or just some recognition from somebody, be it someone of importance or not. Recognition is recognition, and it feels so good, so good when you get it. So, guys, I'm gonna start right now and say I recognize you. Thank you, because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't even be doing these videos. So, thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave comments down below. Go check out Brittany's video. And I'll see you later. Cheers.